Hello, everyone. Welcome to the presentation for Image Master. This presentation is for Stanford CS 324 final project in winter 2023. Image Master is an application to unlock the power of images. This will be your ultimate search companion. In summary, it takes search queries as input and find and show images by leveraging on foundation models. We are a two people team, my teammate Ivan Joe and my name is Ryan Lee. We will present four contents today. First, we will show the problem and solution. Then, as the most exciting part, we will give a live demo. Finally, we present quality and latency ben benchmarks as well as future work. Now let's talk about the problems and the limitations of traditional image search. Overall, it requires very complicated hack stack and uh, high engineering resources. It cannot easily build a search engine on private domain data, like my personal photos. Also, it usually takes images in the surrounding text as structured data and understand image with a fixed set of annotations or attributes. Now let's talk about our solution. Image Master builds the new image search engine by leverage on state-of-art multimodal models. It takes images as unstructured data. Use multimodal model to tell the similarity between image and query embeddings. It is easily built up for any image dataset. It has simple engineering tech stack with good search quality. It also has optimized performance for large dataset search. We can search across 10K images with only eight milliseconds latency. Here is a brief preview for this image master. It uses two foundation models, Clip from OpenAI and Gleep from Microsoft. It has optimized the search performance by two techniques. First, we pre-compute the images into embeddings. We call this faster image. And also it has efficient similarity search on dense vectors. It greatly reduced the initial search latency from 100 seconds to only 8 milliseconds. Now Ivan will show us the exciting live demo. Yeah, thanks, Ren. I'm happy to take over and give a demo. So here is the web app that we built to showcase this usability. And we prepared 100,000 assembled images from ImageNet. And here is the uh, box where user can input search queries. For example, I put chicken and then it was giving me chicken results. If I want to be more specific, then I say a roasted chicken for my dinner. And this will show me all the roasted chicken. What if I want to be more specific? I'm not only interested in the chicken as entity, but also like the location that I'll add the roasted chicken in place. Then the results will show me like, oh, the roasted chicken in place. So it seems really good. How about we try other concepts? Like instead of chicken, we can say vintage cars in street. I want to find out about vintage cars and it can give me corresponding results quite good. What if I want to try some more abstract terms like romantic couple? Let's see what it returns me. Yeah, finally, like it does give me kind of a romantic couple, but maybe not what I anticipated. It gave me a couple of cats and a couple of rats and a couple of penguins. What if I want to be more specific, like say romantic human couples? And what does it give me? So it does give me like this one, this two. So it seems pretty good. So this has been about the clip part. And Ryan also mentioned that we integrate clip as additional features to help us to validate the results. For example, here is another web app that we integrate the clip. And what it shows me is not only the relevant images surface up by clip, but also give you bounding box to show, oh, here is the target object as real kid. What if we try the romantic human couple again in this app, it will take slightly longer, but then it will also show me all the romantic couple images plus a bounding box to indicate where does it look into. So here is just a brief demo of our app. And I think Ryan already mentioned it and now just put into the clear pictures of how the system is designed. So one search query passing from user, like show me a pink duck or roast chicken. What it does essentially is uh, first, the clip model will run embedding uh, in real time on this query uh, to get the vector out. And then it will compare with uh, 10,000 image embeddings 
a preloaded in server cache just for the sake of performance. And we run through the fast similarity search. And then we got the 10 top image candidates. We can either return it immediately, or as Ryan mentioned, that we will use Glib model as a critical feature just to validate the relevancy of the performance, the, the results, to making sure the results that are returned to the user is meaningful enough. So that's the overview of the whole system architecture. So besides the qualitative evaluation of the system, we also did quantitative benchmarking. We think an ideal image search system must quickly find relevant images for given search queries. So performance and latency both matters. And in terms of performance, we can pick 20 queries, pass them to our system, evaluate the relevance of all the results returned, and calculate three metrics, precision, MRR, and average precision. The major takeaways are the clip only system, which is the blue bar here, it achieved an amount of 0.775, which is pretty high, meaning that the system is capable to deliver the high, highly relevant images at the top of the return results. But the precision overall is lower at 0.567, which is not ideal. It means there are several false positive results at the lowest rank. In comparison, if we introduce GLIP, what we see is the precision increase from 0.567 to 0.658, meaning that GLIP as the critic filter improves overall relevancy of the other results. On the latency side, as Ren mentioned, with all the optimization we do, Clip is able to search through 10,000 images at 8.55 milliseconds. Such instantaneous speed makes a very ideal candidate for large scale image data search. On the other hand, Clip is much slower. Therefore, we can only use Clip as a kind of filter to validate the results surface up by Clip. That's, that's how we can achieve a good balance between precision and latency in the benchmarking. So that's all the evaluations we have done. And now, next, Ren is going to talk about future work. Thanks, Erin. For the future work, we have the following plans. So for the private domain image search, we want to provide upload your own images function. And for the public domain image search, like search on the image net, we want to provide the precise image search experience, as well as trust and safety control to make sure the image contents are appropriate to anyone. Thanks for your listening. And if you have questions or feedbacks, feel free to reach out to us by emails.